What's going on everyone, this is Dom, and today we're gonna to talk about the Huawei Mate X. Yes, they released a foldable phone, and we're gonna talk about how that compares to Samsung's new Galaxy Fold. And I'm actually kind of excited about what Huawei is doing here. I mean, of course, it, it definitely is better in design when compared to the Galaxy Fold, just because of the fact that it utilizes that small little curve or gap that the display needs in order to not crease to its advantage. So instead of having the curve on the inside leaving kind of like a little gap in between the phone, it actually has it on the outside. So it folds backwards almost, if you wanna say that, leaving you with a display on each side of the device, which I think is pretty cool. So essentially what we have here on the front side is a 6.6 .6 inch display and on the back side a 6.38 inch display. And when you unfold it, you have a nice, beautiful, eight inch display and I believe it's a little bit thinner than the Galaxy Fold as well coming in at 5.4 millimeters thick but mind you that 5.4 millimeters is actually when it's unfolded so when you're in tablet mode that's how thin it is so it's essentially almost double that when it's folded up. I do like how they implemented the cameras on the back side as well. So we just have a small little area on the side that the display folds into. And so therefore you can take pictures in uh, selfie mode or you can just take regular photos as you have a display on both sides. Now they say there's a 4,500 milliamp hour battery inside of here. And I just, I don't know. I mean, that just doesn't seem like enough to power all of that. I guess we'll have to see and wait and find out. But one of my biggest gripes with the Huawei Mate X is the software. And I think that the Galaxy Fold is probably going to do it better. I, I've never been a huge fan of Huawei's software in implementation, just their user interface and stuff. It's just not my cup of tea. That's not to say that it's bad. I would just prefer something that Samsung made in terms of software over Huawei. Of course, the Huawei Mate X is going to be a 5G compatible phone. So if you're looking to uh, kind of dip your toes into the future, that's definitely the one to go for because we don't have that on the phone fold, at least not on its current generation, but I think that they're both great phones. I just happen to like how Huawei implemented the fold aspect using that little curvature that it needs for the display to its advantage on the outside of the phone instead of on the inside. Now here's the thing, right? With the Galaxy Fold, we have it coming in just under $2,000 and that was quite a gasp when they announced that price in the press conference that we were at in San Francisco. But get this, the Huawei Mate X actually comes in at about $2,600 in the US, which I, <laughs> wow. I also wonder when the phone is closed with the Huawei Mate X and you know, you have that fold on the outside of the phone, is that edge gonna get scratched up a lot? I can't help but thinking that if you bang the edge of the phone on something or whatever, it's either gonna break the display or it's gonna scratch. I think there are more weak points to the display of the Huawei Mate X than the Galaxy Fold, but you know, it depends on how rough you are with your stuff. Now I wanna know what you think about the Huawei Mate X and the Galaxy Fold in the comments section below. I think this stuff is pretty cool. I'm happy that it's the future and I, I'm just waiting for the day that somebody announces a foldable TV because trust me, th that will be coming whether we need it or not. Leave your thoughts in the comments below. Leave this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And if you're new around here, hit the subscribe button and don't forget to hit the notification bell so you're the first to be notified when new videos like this drop. Thank you so much for watching everyone. This is Dom and I'll catch you in the next video.